Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's James. Let's go over some Dead City theories, what we think might or might not happen in Dead City. But first I want to throw out there, you know, in my last video, I went over some images in the promos and trailers. What little clips and frames have we not seen in the shows so far? So that's a discussion in the last video on that stuff. And I said for you guys to point out anything I did miss, Nathan OK, he let us know in the comments on the last video. So I'll share that with you real quick. You know, there's two different variant walkers that we did see in the trailer. There's the one at the Renaissance area that Aaron and Jerry and Lydia and those guys were at. And, you know, it climbed the wall. It opened a door. It picked up a rock. It climbed up on the roof after Jerry and Aaron. And, you know, it did a lot of stuff, but they did kill it. It also let the horde in like, you know, they had everything kind of secure that Aaron said. But then, hey, the walker, the smart walker, the variant, let the rest in. Even though it climbed the wall, it must have opened a door or a gate or something to let the rest in. You know, that, that had to happen. Well, in one of the trailers, we get this shot. The other variant walker at the Renaissance, you can see, climbed a wooden fence. You see this walker here, it's different. It's a little bit different looking. It's got the slit wrist kind of thing. It's climbing a metal fence, and I'm saying this is either Alexandria or Commonwealth. You know, how did the Horde get into Commonwealth? Back before, I was thinking maybe Lydia led them there, Negan, you know, with his mask. Maggie even knows how to do that now a little bit. We've seen Jerry and Aaron with meat jackets on. You know, I thought, you know, there's a lot of potential for people leading a Horde into Commonwealth, but it looks like it could be a variant walker getting in the Commonwealth. So let's see how all that plays out. Thanks to Nathan in the comments and all you guys keeping the discussion alive. So now for some dead city talk, almost every single person. And this is, you know, if you had to throw out a percentage, 99%, 99.9% of fans that I've talked with about the theory or said something in the comments, it's always said that the kids were taken. That's the only reason that Negan and Maggie would get together and go to New York. The kids must have been taken. That is like really the only theory. There's not even a bunch of other good theories out there. And I've even asked, but it seems that nobody can come up with a real good theory other than the kids were taken or at least one of them. You know, one big theory on season 11 is that Annie dies. So yeah, after a little time jump, after the end of season 11, Herschel's older, Negan's kids older, and you know, maybe they both get taken. People blame the CRM most of all Padre, there's a lot of Padre talk out there. Personally, you know, the Padre thing, I just really hope it doesn't come over into the spinoffs of The Walking Dead. And that's just my own opinion. I kind of hope it isn't about the kids, you know. Yeah, it does make sense. And it does seem like it may be the only theory out there that, well, the kids were taken. That's the only reason they would work together and go to New York. But I hope it's something else. But do I have one to present to you that's not about the kids? Not really. There's not a good uh, something I could come up with unless I just pull something out of thin air that would make sense. And all you guys are correct in, in that way that, yes, the kids being taken does make sense. But let's look at it in a bigger picture. The TWDU. My theory that the Rick and Michonne series will be in the past. So we will get reunited with them in season 11 at the end. Uh, then their series will tell us what happened after Rick got off the helicopter and Michonne found that large group. Then, how did they reunite with each other and make it back in time for the finale? Then I'm kind of predicting a time jump. And I would say it's got to be at least eight years because if the kids are the reason, I don't think they take little Herschel. I think bigger Herschel, uh, that's already a teenager, young adult, I think maybe he's got himself in trouble. And Maggie goes to help him, and Negan goes as well, maybe even catches up to her, like, no, Negan, you can't go, or, or Negan finds out about it later, and then goes and catches up with her. And she's like, look, dude, I don't need your help. But he's like, you do need my help. I am exactly who you need to go into New York, man, at this point in the game, and to save Herschel. And I base that on the comic because we do get a time jump in the comic. And one of the things that happens is Herschel kind of is almost like a Sebastian, you know. He's kind of turned into a spoiled brat kind of kind of person. So he could have easily, if that's what they do in the show, do a time jump and then Herschel gets in trouble. But that could all happen actually in the spinoff itself. Herschel doesn't have to get in trouble and Maggie's heading out to help him in the season 11 show at all. 
it can have its ending. Boom, it's over, gone. Then the first episode of Dead City kind of catches us up, you know? The Daryl thing, how many years does it happen after the end of season 11? It could have a time jump as well. Rick could easily show up in in the Daryl thing. He's been spotted in France. So yeah, that could happen in this theory, of course. But that's a lot of stuff, a lot of talk that I'm even getting lost in my head as well. So hey, if you guys are still with me, yeah, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And you know I'll join you there. This is James in Nashville as always. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.